Hey everybody, it's I Want To Be Retro. Today we're going to take a look at backing up or syncing your EmuDeck saves using our clone. To get started, we need to switch to desktop mode, then launch a terminal by selecting console from the applications menu. If you haven't already set a password for your Steam Deck, do so by running the passwd command. Then enter and confirm a password for the user account. If you installed EmuDeck onto a microSD card, we need to create a symbolic link to your home directory using the ln-s command. Next, we'll allow writing to the SteamOS file system by running sudo steamOS readonly disable. Then we'll download and install rclone by using their provided installation script. Once the install completes, we can set the SteamOS file system back to read-only. We can verify rclone was installed successfully by running rclone version. To begin the setup, we can run rclone config, type n and press enter to create a new remote storage configuration. Give the storage location a friendly name. Then select the type of storage the remote location uses. I'll be using a Samba share in this example. Follow the prompts to configure the remote storage location. The steps will vary based on the storage type selected in the previous step. For example, when connecting to a Samba share, it asks for the host name, username, port, password, and domain name to be used to connect to the share. When prompted to enter the advanced config, type N and press enter, then type Y to finish the configuration and save the changes. We can then test the remote storage configuration by using the rclone test memory command along with the friendly name of the remote storage. If everything's configured correctly, you should see a system memory change message. If you get any errors, troubleshoot those before moving forward. Now that we know the configuration is valid, we can use the rclone bysync command to run the initial sync. Now I'll open the Dolphin file manager and navigate to the Samba share where I'm trying to sync my emudeck saves. Here we can see the initial sync was successful and the files from the emudeck saves directory have been copied to the Samba share. With our clone configured and the initial sync completed, we need to set this up to run on a schedule. Back in the console, we'll use the make dir command to create a .config systemd user directory structure in our home folder. Then we'll create a .timer file in the directory and edit it in the nano editor. Copy the contents from the video description, then save the changes to the .timer file. By default, this timer will run every 15 minutes, but this can be changed by modifying the on calendar value. Next, we'll create a .service file and edit it in the nano editor. Copy the contents of the service file from the video description, then save the changes and close out of nano. Now we'll enable our scheduled sync by using the systemctl enable command. We can then verify the timer is running and enabled using the systemctl list timers command. Back in the file manager, I'll create a test file in both the local and remote storage locations so I can see if the scheduled sync is working. After waiting for the next 15 minute sync cycle to occur, we can see that the bidirectional sync is working properly. 